What you're about to see are a series of short video clips of Seventh-day Adventist pastors standing in prayer before the people with hands down or closed. And yes, I did a video on this a few months back, but it appeared to anger some Seventh-day Adventists, and a few even openly refused to believe it for some reason. And so perhaps showing these pastors actually standing in prayer on camera in the same way Roman Catholic prelates do will move some of the precious Seventh-day Adventist people into accepting the truth as per our Lord's own prophetic word regarding their long prophesied apostate condition. And by the way, I do have a few videos of pastors standing in prayer that have left the Seventh-day Adventist church as well. But to keep the video short, I'm only going to show those that are still in the Seventh-day Adventist church doing this sinful act before the people. And after sharing these clips, I'm actually going to repost my video from back in February, wherein I not only show what Scripture says, but what the spirit of prophecy has to say about all the sinful actions of the Seventh-day Adventist leaders when it comes to prayer. Hopefully by doing so, some will see what need to be seen and make special notice as to how the president of the Seventh-day Adventist Church not only stood while praying before what appeared to be thousands of people, he even asked all of them to stand in prayer. Check out these videos. And we're going through the book of Genesis tonight. We've got a very interesting study. And um, all the more reason we should probably begin with a word of prayer. Loving Lord, we're so thankful for the Bible because it is a life and death issue. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, there is a great counterfeit religious system that is being erected in the world. Heavenly Father, we come to you tonight asking, Lord, that you'll take away from us any sin that is so easily beset in us. Let's stand as we pray. Holy Father, this first evening of our camp meeting journey. Father in heaven, our topic this morning is a critical one in the life of each one of us living on the knife edge of eternity on the verge of the kingdom of God. Let's bow our heads for prayer. Our wonderful, generous, loving Heavenly Father. What a privilege it is to come into your presence. So let's pray. Dear Father, Heavenly Father, it is a, a wonderful thing to be here. Lord, we ask your blessing upon us and upon each of us. May the latter rain fall as we submit ourselves to you. As any Christian will admit to, they have seen their pastors do this before their own eyes. And there are literally millions of videos online of pastors from every denomination known to man standing before the people in prayer with hands closed in the exact same way the pagans of old did unto Baal and then Roman Catholic priests have done since they have mixed Christianity with paganism. As we know, it is prophesied that ravenous wolves will gain the pulpits who will then wander after the beast in Rome to do as their dying God commands they do so as to gather the people of the world Father in into heaven, the camp of Rome. And so sadly, Lord, the message of Balaam if you is scan not the only videos online, church, you will see Seventh-day Adventist pastors in the church as well as those that have left the church mocking the Lord your God while standing in prayer with hands closed before the people as if they need not bow or even raise their hands toward heaven when praying unto the creator of the universe. Unto these apostate pastors I declare, King Solomon kneeled when in prayer before the people. Daniel the prophet kneeled in prayer three times a day. Many seekers of the Lord kneeled before Jesus. Jesus our Savior and King kneeled in prayer unto our Father. Stephen, who was stoned for his faith, kneeled in prayer. Peter the Apostle kneeled in prayer, and Paul kneeled in prayer before the people. 
Now, these are only a few of the times it is mentioned in the Word of God wherein men raised holy hands unto heaven and knelt in prayer. There are quite a few more. But I hope these few verses are enough to open the eyes of some souls still trapped in apostasy. All these patriarchs and prophets knelt in perfect reverence unto our mighty God while in prayer. And yet it is a very rare thing to see Seventh-day Adventist ministers kneeling in prayer these days. Just search out the videos online and you'll see this firsthand. And if the Bible is not sufficient evidence unto you so as to declare your leaders in the church and outside the church are literally in open sin as prophecy predicted they would be, see what is declared in the spirit of prophecy regarding all this. One who has been educated for about five years in Battle Creek was asked to lead in prayer before Sister White should speak to the people. But as I beheld him standing upright upon his feet, while his lips were about to open in prayer to God, my soul was stirred within me to give him an open rebuke. Calling him by name, I said, Get down upon your knees. This is the proper position always. And it's also stated in her writings that both in public and in private worship, it is our privilege to bow on our knees before the Lord when we offer our petitions to him. Jesus, our example, kneeled down in prayer. Of his disciples, it is recorded that they too kneeled down and prayed. Paul declared, I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In confessing before God the sins of Israel, Ezra knelt. Daniel kneeled down upon his knees three times a day and prayed and gave thanks before his God. True reverence for God is inspired by a sense of his infinite greatness and a realization of his presence. With this sense of the unseen, every heart should be deeply impressed. The hour and place of prayer are sacred because God is there. And as reverence is manifested in attitude and demeanor, the feeling that inspires it will be deepened. Holy and reverend is his name, the psalmist declares. Angels, when they speak that name, veil their faces. With that reverence, then, should we, who are fallen and sinful, take it upon our lips. Thank you for watching. God bless.